All right, guys, so the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale does start this Friday. So if you're in need of some good recommendations, I'm your guy. Let's do it. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. And you may or may not be aware, but we have the Halfway to Black Friday Vinegar Syndrome sale going on this weekend. It actually starts on Thursday night at midnight and ends next Monday night at midnight. So I thought I would take it upon myself for you guys, this is for you guys, uh, to throw out some recommendations of some cool Vinegar Syndrome titles, kind of points you in the right direction because maybe you're new to Vinegar Syndrome, like I, de I definitely recommended a lot of these titles before, but maybe you're new to Vinegar Syndrome and you don't know where to start, you don't know where to dip your toes in first, it can be a little hit or miss, it can be a little scary diving into the Vinegar Syndrome pool, so I'm here to take your hand and guides you in the right direction. And make sure you're picking out some films that are fun, that are actually good movies. Look, guys, good movies, they're subjective, right? They, Vinegar Syndrome has built their name on these cult 70s, 80s, 90s um, horror schlock films that they put out, you know, that cost them like a nickel to purchase and license, and then they put it out with a nice slip cover for 30 bucks, and they call it a day. That's what Vinegar Syndrome does, and some of those are really fun and good, um, and some of those are just not too great at all. Um, so I want to try to steer clear of those titles today with my recommendations, but some of you guys may look at some of my recommendations and say, Ken, those movies aren't good. I don't like those movies. Fair enough. But these are movies that I think are good and I think you should own um, in your collection. I think you can, should consider uh, for the Vinegar Syndrome sale. But look, guys, before we get into it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We talk about physical media on this channel, Blu-rays, 4Ks, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me. And leave me a comment down below, guys. I don't have every single Vinegar Syndrome title. If you have any recommendations for me, let me know what they are in the comment section below. But before we get into my 15 recommendations, well actually 16 because I lumped a couple of them in together with each other, there is some things that you should know um, about the sale that's going on this Friday, running through Monday. So this of course is the halfway to Black Friday sale, which is halfway to their other big sale that's Black Friday weekend. Um, now this will include Vinegar Syndrome titles, the mainline Vinegar Syndrome titles. It will also include the Vinegar Syndrome sub-labels, the VSPs, the VSLs, the VSUs, uh, the VSAs, the VSBs, the VSCs, the VSTs, all the VSs. They don't have that many as of right now, but I fully expect that at some point, Vinegar Syndrome will cover every single letter of the alphabet uh, with their VSs, and it includes all the partner labels as well. So very cool guys. All of these will be 50% off of SRP. So whatever, usually these are marked down from SRP. So it's not going to be 50% off of what they are now. If you get on the Vinegar Syndrome website, it's not going to be 50% off of what they are now because they've already marked it down probably like 20, 30% from the original SRP. So it's 50% off of the SRP. Now, as I go over these, I'm going to break down all the prices and let you guys know what you can expect to purchase these at during the sale. So I'm going to try to do that math for you um, as I break these down. Now, there are some titles that are not included. Anything that came out this year is not included. Anything that came out in 2024 is not included in the sale. Only stuff that came out before 2024. So any new titles that came out this year, guys, I will reiterate because I get this question a lot. People DM me. They ask me this stuff will not be included in this sale. So just know that going in. And there's some other titles that they're saying, maybe get on the Vinegar Syndrome website because they were being kind of vague about what other titles wouldn't be included. But I'm assuming that every single one that I go over today, because they're just regular mainline Vinegar Syndrome releases, I don't have any partner labels or anything like that. I'm assuming that these will be included um, in the sale this Friday. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let me not waste any more of your precious time. You came here for recommendations and I want to give you some recommendations for goodness sake. Let's start with Flesh Eater, guys. Oh my goodness, let me cover this up. Uh, Flesh Eater on 4K. Let me show you the back of Flesh Eater or maybe the side of Flesh Eater, but I can't I can't show you the front of Flesh Eater because of that. Look at that, guys. I'm, I'm showing the front. Let me just pull the bandit up. Let me just show the front of Flesh Eater. It's over. It's done with YouTube. Do what you will with this video at this point. Um, but anyways, guys, I'll, I'll show it from the back. Flesh Eater on 4K. 
right here, guys. You got it in the 4K. Oh my God, the cover again. But all right, I reversed the artwork here and I think this is safe to show off for you guys. But Flesh Eater is a really cool movie that when I watched this last year, and this is interesting because it's actually directed by the first zombie that you see in Night of the Living Dead, Bill Hensman. He stars in the film and he directs the film. So this is really kind of a spiritual successor to George A. Romero's Living Dead films. Um, so it's a zombie movie, but it starts off like really small and really low budget feeling like in a bad way. Like the first like 20 minutes of this movie, you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe Ken made me buy this movie. This is absolute crap. But this movie has such an escalation. It just keeps building and building and building. And by the time you get to the end of this movie, it is like a full on like zombie apocalypse. And they're like taking over this suburban neighborhood. And it's just, there's so many great kills, so many great moments um, in the last like hour of this movie, which is the bulk of the movie. The bulk of the movie is awesome. But it just, it's a slow burn, guys. It takes a bit to get there. And the acting is just terrible. As all the characters are so unlikable. Just terrible acting. But when you get to the zombie moments, the meat of the movie, it is truly awesome. A truly great, spectacular uh, zombie apocalypse movie with tons of great uh, kills and tons of great gore as well. Tons of great moments. Like, I could, if you're a fan of those Living Dead films, or you're a fan of zombie movies, you got to have Flesh Eater in your collection. And in 4K, with all the blood and the gore, it looks absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of scenes that take place outside that look great as well. So I absolutely recommend Flesh Eater on 4K. Now, in the sale, you will be able to get this with the slipcover for 25 bucks. The slipcover is still available. And you can get just the regular standard edition for $22.50 in the sale. If you don't want the if you don't want the cardboard, you can save $2.50 and not get the cardboard. But highly recommend Flesh Eater. I this is a top tier recommendation. Like especially if you're a fan of zombie films. I love this movie. I think it's fantastic. Uh, we also got Mad Ma'am on 4K. Thankfully, I can show the cover of this one, but this is just a fun, like, backwoods slasher with a really cool villain. I just think Madman is awesome. Like, he's actually scary, too. I remember the sequence where he's, like, hiding in the doorway, and they, like, shine a light on him for a, for a brief second, and just, like, the look of him in the dark when they show him, it's really creepy, and he's just a really cool character with a really cool backstory, and I think that's a really fun slasher, and it looks really good in 4K as well. So, I definitely recommend this if you're a fan of films like The Burning, uh, Friday the 13th. It's a camp style slasher as well. The only thing that's weird about this movie is there's this like hot tub uh, like romance scene that goes on for way too long and it's super cheesy. That's really the only thing that's I don't think is great about it. Everything else is just a classic slasher, backwoods slasher film. I think it's really good and it looks really good in 4K as well. Now there is a Blu-ray version of this. It's probably cheaper. It's probably like $17.50. So if you don't want to get the 4K, you can get the Blu-ray. But the 4K with the slipcover, this one still has a slipcover, guys, is $25 bucks and the standard edition is $22.50 uh, for this. Will be $22.50 in the sale. So and I know what you're thinking to yourself, guys. Like, oh my God, Ken, $25, bucks, $22.50. This is not a sale. I get it. But look, this is vinegar syndrome and this is... This is way less than you'll be paying for regular vinegar syndrome prices. You pay like $36, $37 for a new 4K with a slipcover, $34 for a new title on 4K without the slipcover. So in, in a vinegar syndrome sale, these are good prices. Really kind of comparable to the Criterion 50% off sale. You're just not getting like classic, uh, critically acclaimed classic films. You're getting horror schlock from the 70s and 80s. But again, Film is subjective. Like some people love these types of movies, and some people do not like those Criterion films. So it's all it's all relative to what you enjoy, right? At the end of the day. But Madman, look, if you like slashers, it's a really good slasher. I would recommend it. Now let's talk about the Invisible Maniac. This is a really fun movie, and this is a 4K um, as well, right here. I enjoy this one a lot. It's a very low budget, like high school style slasher film. Uh, with a like crazed uh, scientist that that goes invisible and he's like peeping on the girls in the shower, but there's some really great kills and slasher moments as well. It's kind of weird because it's like during the day in school and like nobody's really there, so you can tell they were working with a very limited budget. But 
Like, you know, you got good looking girls running around, you got dudes and people are getting killed and it's a fun premise with the killer being invisible. So I recommend The Invisible Maniac. I think it's a, it's a fun time for sure. The 4K looks great as well. And you can get just the standard edition. This slipcover is actually sold out. And they actually did another slipcover that when you put it on, it like showed the girl naked on the cover, which was, which was pretty fun, but I never got that. But just the 4K uh, standard edition right here. No slipcover with the Invisible Maniac, but you can get it for $22.50. The Prophecy Collection. This is one that came out recently. This one came out last November. And I did not watch every single film in this set. I only watched the first one, but the first one looks really good in 4K. And I liked it. I didn't love it as much as I was hoping, but like the first one looks really great in 4K. It's a cool like slip box deal right here. You take this off diagonally and you got a slip cover inside. I was a little disappointed in this because I was, you know, I thought it might have a booklet inside or something like some of the other vinegar syndrome side loaders and it does not, but it's still a really solid release. And the thing is guys, you can get this box set still, the box set is not sold out. You can get the box set for 50 bucks and I bought this for like $80. So the fact that you can get three 4Ks for 50 bucks, like that's a really good deal. But if you just want to get the standard version um, without the slip cover and the um, and the slip box and all that stuff, just the standard edition of the Prophecy 3 film set, you can get it for 35 bucks. So that's three 4Ks for 35 bucks this is going to be um, in the sale. So I think that's a hell of a deal. So definitely jump on this right now during the sale, especially if you're a fan um, of these movies. And all three of these movies have Christopher Walken. So at least these three have Christopher Walken. The sequels after did not have him. So I do recommend that set. They looked uh, fantastic. Like, look guys, I don't even really feel the need to comment on Vinegar Syndrome transfers because they like, say what you want about their films, but their transfers are always top tier. So all of these Blu-rays and 4Ks that I'm covering here all look awesome. All, at least their 4Ks do for sure. Like some of the Blu-rays are a little, you know, low budget, but like the 4Ks all look spectacular. And this one is no exception either. This is Existence. Um, so the 4K of this, you can just get the standard. There's not the slip box case. I think the slip box like sold out very quickly. I'm glad that I jumped on this, but you can get the standard edition of Existence, which is a David Cronenberg film. You can get it for uh, 25 bucks um, on 4K, just the standard edition of Existence. And this is really cool because it has a belly button. So that's cool, right? Um, but yeah, the 4K of this looked freaking awesome. This movie's got Jude Law in it. It's got uh, Jennifer Jason Lee, who I love. It looks fantastic. The premise, like how they're like jumping into video games and stuff like that, and just kind of, you can't really tell like what's real and what's fake in this world. It was a cool premise, but I don't feel like they really executed it as well as they could have. Um, I'm saying this, but you know, David Cronenberg's a filmmaking legend, so what do I know? Um, but I just, I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed some of Cronenberg's other films, uh, for sure. But it's, it's a decent watch and the 4K looks incredible. So if you already enjoy this movie, you will enjoy this 4K for sure. This is two that I'm recommending right here. We've got Freeway uh, 1 and 2. These both came out on 4K. I think this one came out at the end of 2022. This one came out at the beginning of 2023. Both of these you can get uh, just the standard editions. The slip covers are not available anymore for $22.50. I'll be honest, I wish I would have gotten that box that they put out to put both of them in it. I think it's still available though, so I may get it um, in this upcoming sale. What I'll say about these movies is Freeway is honestly one of the best looking 4Ks I've ever seen. And this movie is really fun. It's got Reese Witherspoon in it and maybe one of her best performances. Like I think she's great in this movie. This movie's got Natasha Leone and it's 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 definitely more outlandish and over the top, but I think it's pretty good as well. I think they both kind of complement each other pretty good, but um, and this 4K looked good as well, just not as good as the first Freeway. So definitely recommend uh, both of these films. I thought they were fantastic on 4K. All right, this next one is uh, Primal Rage. And I talked about this one numerous times on the channel over, over the past year or so, but I really enjoyed this. You know, it's it's an infection movie, kind of like a zombie, you know, movie, but it's an infection movie, I would say, kind of along the same lines as like a 28 Days Later or something. But it has a real like cool Halloween vibe to it. There's like a Halloween dance at the end. And I just thought this one was a lot of fun. The 4K looked great as well. And there's an entire documentary on here talking about the making of this movie. So that definitely made it feel a little bit more worth it for sure. The slipcover version is $25. 
um, during the sale and the standard will be $22.50. We got Sidekicks, uh, this 4K release of Sidekicks right here. And look, guys, I love this movie, but I've got a lot of nostalgia for it. I actually watched this before I watched The Karate Kid. This was my Karate Kid growing up. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed this film. And this one's pretty cool because it's kind of along the same lines as The Karate Kid. You got Jonathan Brandis, who's who's training to be in this karate tournament. And, and you got Chuck Norris, who is kind of his mentor, but Chuck Norris isn't really real. He's kind of in his head, so he's imagining uh, Chuck Norris. He's kind of like his imaginary friend, and it's the real Chuck Norris. Like, he's imagining the real Chuck Norris. He's going into Chuck Norris films, and it kind of has this, like, real, like, meta feel to it. Also, just going into the real-life Chuck Norris's films, but it's imaginary, and um, I don't know. It's really cool, and Chuck Norris actually shows up at the end, so that's cool as well, and I just love Jonathan Brandis. Like, I'm just a big fan of all of his movies, uh, from this time period. I would love a VSU of Ladybugs. Can somebody give that to me? I would love that. But this is a really... Look, I, I never expected a movie like Sidekicks, this movie that I've loved since I was a kid, to get this kind of treatment. And you can still get this box set, guys. That's the cool thing. Some of these VSUs I'm going to talk about, you can't still get the box sets. But this one in particular, you can still get this box set of Sidekicks with all the stuff inside. Because for, for some reason, like, Sidekicks wasn't a big seller for them. Why not? Why aren't you all picking up Sidekicks? This is a great movie. Uh, but it's got a real cool, like, magazine inside. It's got cool artwork and... I don't know, guys. Cool artwork on the slipcover. You can get the box set for $32.50 still um, on the website. During the sale, guys, I keep saying you can get this for $32.50. I'm probably going to put this up on Thursday uh, for you guys just so you have a heads up for the sale. So as of right now, when I put this up, the sale will not be in effect. Um, but... On Friday, it will be in effect. You can take advantage of it for these price points. But thirty-two fifty for this box set. Like I think I got this for like forty-five bucks. So and worth every penny. I love this. But like this is so cool. Such a cool box set. Vinegar Syndrome does a great job um, on these VSU editions. The next VSU I'm going to recommend is Roadhouse um, on 4K right here. And you will not be able to get this box set for Roadhouse, but. I talk about this all the time. I had to bring it up again. I just love this movie. I think it's a great movie with Patrick Swayze. And, um, you know, I think it's one of the best looking 4Ks. Like, this really is a spectacular looking 4K. But you can't get the box set. You can only get the standard edition for $25 um, right here. So you get the standard edition. I don't know if they'll still include the slipcover or not. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But uh, you can get the standard edition right here of uh, Roadhouse. And it's got great features. It's got all the stuff from the shout release back in the day. Um, and look, guys, it doesn't have the box. It doesn't have the booklets. It may not have the slipcover, but it's still worth it. It still has the transfer, and it still has the incredible movie with Patrick Swayze. So I can still recommend it. Let's talk about Evil Laugh. Let's get into some cheaper options here. Evil Laugh is a really fun uh, slasher movie with a really like interesting killer that has an interesting tick about him. Like he laughs, like when he kills somebody, he laughs, like you hear him laugh. It's super low budget, so don't go into this thinking like it's really like a great movie or anything. But it also has kind of a meta approach to it. Like there's some jokes in the movie that are kind of referencing like horror franchises and other horror films, which kind of made, like they were talking about in the special features, Kind of made it feel like Scream before Scream because it was very like referential of the genre. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, there's an entire documentary on here as well. That's why I love Vinegar Syndrome. Just talking about this movie and it has all the actors that were in the movie. Scott Bayo's brothers in this movie. Uh, so he talks about it. This movie was actually directed and that kind of explains like the Friday the 13th references. This movie was directed by... I can't remember the name off the top of his head. I'm going to be sounding extremely disrespectful here. But it's directed by the fat kid that gets killed by an axe at the beginning of A New Beginning. Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. So I thought that was kind of funny that he went on uh, to direct. Now, sadly, he's passed away. He's not in the documentary. But it's a really good documentary. And it was one of those documentaries that made me like the movie more when I got done watching it. So uh, Vinegar Syndrome is good about that. Like, you'll, you'll enjoy the movie. Then you'll watch the features and you'll enjoy it even more. So I thought Evil Laugh was a really fun, really fun time. It had some really good twists and turns like with the ending. It kind of leaves you on a bit of a cliffhanger as well. Really, really fun movie though. You can get it for $17.50 in the sale, guys. 
and I'm trying to see if it still has the uh, slip cover. So the slip cover is $21.50. If you want to get it without the slip cover, uh, that is going to be $17.50. So, but it's a really nice slip cover. It's got some cool embossing on it as well, and I think it's worth it for sure. Uh, we also got a TCM2, guys. Had to recommend this. The transfer is fantastic. I just thought it was so cool that Vinegar Syndrome got to do this one on 4K in this nice, cool slip box, which unfortunately, you will not still be able to get this slip box right here, but you can get the regular standard 4K for 25 bucks. But this is still totally worth it because the Screen Factor release is out of print. Um, you cannot get that release, and this has all the features from the Screen Factor release. It has brand new features. I think Caroline Williams actually did a brand new feature in this as well. You got the documentaries. Like There is so much included here, like so much value in this. It doesn't matter if you have the slip box, the slip cover or not. This is still a three-disc set. So you have the 4K. You have the Blu-ray with special features. You also have an entire Blu-ray disc with a ton of special features as well. Like I said, a documentary on the making of this movie. It may actually have two documentaries here now that I think of it, but it might just be the one. But tons, tons, tons of features with this um, as well. I do feel sorry for you if you didn't get the slip box, but like I said, um, the, uh, the regular release will do for sure. The 4K look fantastic, and it's got some great features. Um, like I said, 25 bucks if you want to get that. Cloak and Dagger on 4K. This is a really fun movie with Henry Thomas. Just a fun like kids adventure film. This was a VSU as well. And you can get this for $22.50 with just the standard edition. You cannot still get this box set released for Cloak and Dagger. But if you just want the standard edition, it's certainly a great 4K. It's probably one of the best Vinegar Syndrome 4Ks that I've seen, to be honest. So highly recommend Cloak and Dagger for $22.50. We also got Rush Week, which is another really fun slasher film. Interesting thing about this movie is if you like the girl from Halloween 4 with the cops do it by the book uh, shirt that's on... Um, she's naked in like the first five minutes of this movie. So that's, that's a plus. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, but this is a fun, like college slasher film, uh, kind of like a whodunit. I, I didn't think the ending was really that great when you found out like who done it, but it, it's a fun movie. It's got some fun kills in it and it's not like, you know, it's not one of the greatest horror slashers of all time, but it'll do the trick if you're in the mood to watch a horror slasher. Um, and this one you can still get with the slip for 20 bucks, and you can get the standard edition for $17.50. So it's still a pretty good price, even with the slip. And next up, we have Dead Heat. And I got this. This is one of the first Vinegar Syndrome titles that I bought, and it was recommended to me. Um, but this is a really fun, like, buddy cop movie that one of them turns into a zombie in, but he's not really a zombie. He's still, like, you know, conscious or whatever. But. It's still a really fun movie. It's got Treat Williams in it, an early Treat Williams performance. It's got Joe Piscopo in it. And they both have a good like chemistry together. So it's just a fun movie. There's a laboratory involved and there's scientists and all that stuff. And they're trying to figure out like where this zombie virus is coming from. It's really just a fun comedy, a fun buddy cop comedy with some, some sci-fi and some horror influence in it. But Dead Heat, great looking 4K as well. Some really good special features. You can get this just the standard edition for $22.50. Unfortunately, this beautiful, gorgeous slipcover is no longer um, available with that one. And lastly, guys, we have the Amityville Horror. Do I even have to say anything about the Amityville Horror classic horror film? I would, that's the thing, guys. Like People think of Vinegar Syndrome as this like low-grade, schlocky horror film, some stuff that you would never want to watch that cost a penny to make, and then they do stuff like Amityville Horror. Like... They will surprise you and put out some legitimate classics. And I thought this was super cool when they announced this. It was just like, oh, Vinegar Syndrome is turning a the corner. They're doing good movies now. And, um, you know, since then, they really have cooled down on the classic horror films like Amityville Horror. But when this was announced, like, I just went nuts for it. And I was super excited because I love this film. It's a classic classic horror film from the late 70s that really inspired films like The Conjuring and some of those other haunted, ever, pretty much every haunted house movie horror film that you've watched in the past 40 years has been inspired by the Amityville horror. Um, and yeah, this is a great movie. Margot Kidder, James Brolin, like this brought legitimacy to Vinegar Syndrome. So I will definitely always appreciate this release for that. But you can just get the uh, standard edition right now, guys, for $22.50. You can no longer get this slipcover, this gorgeous slipcover of Amityville Horror. 
but it still has the artwork on the actual release. There's tons of great features here. I think this has all the Screen Factory uh, special features and some additional special features as well. So really good stuff, guys. And the 4K is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, guys, $22.50, and you can get the Amityville Horror on 4K top top tier recommendation so there you have it guys that's my vinegar syndrome recommendations for the halfway to black friday sale hope you get to some good stuff i hope i pointed you in the right direction of some cool new horror titles uh, that you can add to the collection but again thank you all for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below some of your recommendations or if you're going to purchase any of these titles based on my recommendation let me know in the comment section below turn on bell notifications for all future videos and follow me on all of my social media accounts those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.